What's up everybody, my name is Joey, this is Eclectics Workshop, and today I'm going to show you how I built this 3D printed Bluetooth speaker for less than $25 using this MHM38 Bluetooth amp board, this AA battery pack with an on-off switch, 4.5 volts total, and this speaker driver from Parts Express. It's full range and costs less than a dollar. The amp board comes in a four pack from Amazon for 10 bucks. Also from Amazon, the battery pack comes with six for nine dollars. While you're there, don't forget to pick up some metric bolts too. First, I measure the components. Then I design the enclosure in Fusion 360. Next, we print. This will take a while. For now, I'm gonna get cracking on these electronics. To start, I'll solder the connectors onto the board. Uh, I'm all out of alcohol, so hopefully this contact cleaner will work. Next, we will crimp the battery wires. Quick pull test, verify the orientation, and insert into the connector. Now I need the crimps for the speaker. We also need it bridged to mono. To do this, we crimp onto one positive wire and cut off the negative wire. Then we cut off the positive wire and crimp onto the negative wire of the other connector. Hey, look at that, the print's done. As you can see, this print still has some issues, but I don't have enough filament to try again. So, a half round file is gonna have to help in the meantime uh, to make it look presentable at least, I guess. I have had it print well before in the past, uh, so I'm not sure what's up with my machine. Oh well, better get to it. Wait a second, I should be printing the seal while I'm doing this. That'd be way more productive, duh. Um, that feels weird. Let me check this out. Yep, that's what I thought. I gotta tighten those. Much better. Let's load the filament and remember... Always put your tools back. Side quest over. Let's print the seal, finish filing, and clean this desk up. All right, now that I'm done with that, and all of this uh, fits together nicely, uh, the TPU seal is actually done, so let's go check on that. There we go. Hopefully it fits. Oh yeah, nice. I used the bolts to cut the threads, and because it was such a bad print, all but one of the standoffs broke. Luckily, the holes go deep enough, so this should still work. Now that the speaker is mounted, let's hook it up and do a quick test. So kind of like the other standoffs, this one kind of broke off. Um, the other times I've printed it, it's been fine, I promise. Um, just this time it's been a little rough, but that's okay. It's not that important, it's still deep enough. So we can just put the screw in here anyways, just like so. And yeah, we shouldn't have any problems. Ta-da! See, nothing to it. So um, yeah, I actually, actually forgot that uh, that's, that's not gonna fit through that hole. Um, I mean, I guess I didn't forget it, I had to test the board anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna have to take the crimps out and hopefully they'll fit through individually. Let's see. They didn't. So now I have to recrimp these wires. Then the battery pack is just a press fit. So I was about to record um, the next part of this and I turned this on and it has this really high pitched awful noise. Let me see if you can hear that. Yeah, it's super slight, but it's, it, it's there and it's, it, it bothers me. Um, let's see if we can figure out uh, how to fix it. <laughs> so, I think a low pass filter is gonna work. Um, this is what I came up with. Did a quick little research, eight ohms. I just tried this capacitor. Apparently the cutoff point is there and that's working perfectly. This is what the fix looks like. After tightening the bolts for what felt like forever, it was finally time to test. I inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities even though we had a few hiccups, I think that this project was an overwhelming success. I also built a dual speaker version with a rechargeable battery, so let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Um, please leave a comment if you have any questions. Please like and share the video if you did enjoy it. And uh, subscribe for more projects. Thanks. Bye. Oh yeah, the stuff's in the description if you, if you, want, if you want to build it yourself.